all you actually need is some creativity, some simple effects and keyframes, and you can create an effect like this. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is to select your background clip. I selected this clip with the screen and so that's where I'm going to place it. Now you notice something about this screen. There's an object in front of the screen and there's somebody sitting in front of the screen. Now for this situation, the screen is quite far away that if I want to kind of cheat a bit, I can just get away with this. However, if there's an object, you can mask this out later on. The object will remain. So just drag the clip onto your timeline. And if you are doing it for the first time, then I suggest perhaps you can choose say, this uh, section of the screen where there's nothing blocking it. So next, select the clip. I've selected this clip. So I'm going to drag this onto the timeline above. So it just looks something like this. And to pull that effect off, Somewhere where I snap my fingers is where the effect will come in. So somewhere around here. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do is to select the clip and I will set the first set of keyframes where the video size is at the original 100%. This is just before I snap my fingers. Between half a second and one second, I will set another set of keyframes where I want the video to start getting smaller. So next, I'm just going to click OK and I'm going to add a corner pin effect. You can search for it by typing it in. Drag this and place it onto the video. Click on the video to open the menu. Go to the Effects tab. You can adjust the corner pin settings. So let's move this a few frames forward. Let's just move it somewhere here. First, what you want to do is to set the keyframes for all the corner pins right for this one and then we will move forward half a second or one second you can determine it so it depends how fast you want the effect to take place okay once you have set the corner pin you want to click on the image and you can uh, resize it i'm going to zoom change the zoom level back to fit okay and grab this handle and move it Once the image has been roughly being adjusted, you can actually zoom in uh, to adjust this corner pin greater. Okay, so we are going to change the zoom level to say 75% and you can see this better. So now you notice that here it doesn't fit very pro properly. You can adjust this slightly. And here, and this is where I mentioned where uh, the person is there. All right, so if I want to mask this out, I can. And let's play this and see what happens. Now, if you want to have something smoother, what you can do is go to your video again and go back to your transform. Let's zoom in to this advanced keyframes. When you select this, there are ways you can use the is in and is out. All right. So let's say here it changes to 90 something percent. All right. So what you want to do is to select all these frames here and you select is out. Okay. And here, for the next point, you want to select this and select is in. Okay, so click on OK. So let's play this again. All right, so it has a much smoother effect. If you want to adjust this further, you can adjust the handles for this. Right, so you can have these handles to make it smoother this way or that way. So by adjusting the curves, you have a different uh, effect. You can make the effect move on an acceleration curve by changing one point. Now it goes that way. All right. Now to mask the section, select the clip, double click it and go to mask. And I'm going to use the draw mask and draw over the frame. Okay. So select this and I'm just going to draw over here. Right, scroll down and click on invert the mask and you notice actually the mask is placed somewhere here uh, it could be a slight bug at this time so or maybe that's how by design so just drag the mask to the position where the board is and I will just adjust the mask
and this is what it looks like. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends as well. And check out what's on the screen right now for the next video editing tip.